Hi and welcome to Demon Shop. So this is a tutorial video about how to use the Demon permission system. Okay, so first uh, let's pretend this is your Unity scene. This is your world, all right? And um, the first thing we're gonna do is to import. So we import the Unity package. Now I've already done that, so you can see a daemon shop folder in your assets. Now let's open daemon permission and then go to prefab and find the daemon permission system prefab. Drag and drop into your scene and I've done that. So in the daemon permission system we can see a thing called UI pickup panel. This is your UI for the world players. So the UI is pickable and also you can uh, press tab or in VR you press the left grip so you can summon your menu. All right, so we adjust the UI to a good place and then we can go for settings. All right, so first uh, we have a staff room here for the staff users only and we have a staff teleport for those staffs. However, we don't want the members and the default users see the teleport or the room. So on default, the teleport is off and the staff room is off. And then we go to daemon permission system and go find objects to active for master and staff. We click add to so one is the staff teleport and the second one is the staff room and now we click save and hit run all right when we join the world we cannot see the staff room or the teleport so the only thing we can do is become master so we hit become master Ding dong. We can now see the teleport and the room. All right, cool. Now, the second thing we want to do is <clears throat> let's pretend this is a entry of a world. So you want to show different text messages to different rows. I have a default text, a member text, and a staff and master text. So it's also really easy. So let's set everything to off at first and go to daemon permission system and click objects to active for default and drag drop this default text. And then we go to objects to active for member. So let's drag and drop this member text and also we have to disactive the default text for the members and then we go to master and staffs we drag this staff and master text and then we have to disactive other two ones oh sorry my fault my bad we have to drag this member text and the default text. Okay, and now we have this, this, and this. Cool, let's try it. All right, so when we join the world, we are default users. And you can see this default text. So, uh, when we become a member, but we can't be a member right now because we can only be a master. So when we become a master, doom, we move for staff and master. Now I can't show you how to, you know, uh, in the in the client sim, we can't, you know, have two people here. So I only show you that later when we are in the VR chat scene. All right. So the next one we want to do is, let's say um, we have a auto door here. So in the animation, you can see it's a auto door. All right, let's click the preview. 
So we have a door collider. When a player is close to this collider, the auto door will, you know, close and open. But let's pretend this is a, you know, lobby entrance. So you don't want the default users to be able to cross this door. But when when the players become member or staffs, they can enter the door. So what we do is really simple. Let's say we open this door collider and we go to demo permission system and use the objects to be disactive for default and set this door collider on this. So you have to make sure there is only one thing on them so they won't you know fight each other all right so we go for the door collider disactive for default only so they are active for others all right let's try again this time so now we are at default and we can see the door collider is off we cannot enter the room but if we become a master oops we can now enter the door okay so basically that's everything we set up right okay now we can generate two clients and test them in the game all right now we're in game so first we can click tab to summon the menu so now three of us are all default so one of us become master Ding -dong. and now this is me this is the staff room the staff teleport and we are able to cross the room okay so they these two are default members we can't see anything so let's set one of them to a member okay this one is a member now they can see the member text and we are able to cross the door however this one is also uh, is still default so for them they can't see the door okay so what we do is we set them to a staff member okay we are a staff member now we can see the staff room we can cross the door easy and for the member they can't see the staff room still because they are not the staff yeah and this is basically everything what we did and this one is because they're using a sync. So there will be some issues on the auto door, but that's not about the script itself. It's not about the permission system. It's about my auto door sucks. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is basically everything you can see in the demo permission system. You can use this system to do a lot of funny things. You can, you can drag and drop the lights, the post process, the audio, everything. So with this, you can easily set up your world with a different role permissions. And let's see you later in the next video. Bye. This is Demon Shop. Goodbye.